But we don't have just that information. No, baby, we have more information. Hey guys, what is up? Awesome the sauce here. Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome to another theory video. But it, it's a Friday. <laughs> Listen, man, we break all the rules here, all right, baby? We don't have rules. Nah, but what is this video about? I realized that there's a big, big thing that was supposed to happen today and I didn't even look at it until just now. And it is the basically the letter that they send out. Like, which one one sends out every month, summarizing the past month and what to look forward to this month. And this is a really, really big thing because I think uh, for the first time in text anyways, for the first time like in like announced text, they finally revealed that the fall update is going to involve this tunnel. Now, this has been hinted at for a really, really long time. I think everybody has expected this and, you know, it's, it, it's crazy, but it's, it goes beyond just a few hints. This video is going to be about all of the information that we know about it so that I can craft for you a theory. I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll be the plot of the entire thing. Probably not. But you know what? It's fun to try. So my pieces of information are going to come, one, from the dialogue over here, which I've already made a video on, which I'm just going to summarize for you guys. Two, the, the Twitter animation that they just put out today, which I'll show in the video, a little clip of it, so you guys can also check it out if you want. And basically, you know what that could mean. And three, I'm also going to be looking at accounts that have looked at files that were leaked in the game. So we have three different sources all pertaining to the same thing. We're going to see what we can find out, I guess. Now, let's start off with the dialogue. Now, if you guys don't know, we got Renee Wolfton and the contractor, the landscaper, all these guys, they're looking for a guy named Doug. That's basically what this dialogue is all about. If you go near it, you know, chances are they'll talk about it. Uh... I they're not talking about it, so I broke the game. But basically, they're looking for someone because they went down the tunnel in Old Town. Now, this is a really, really big deal because this has been around for over a year. This was... They were added into the game with the Wizard City revamp. So, it's literally been a whole year. So, this has been something that we've been wanting to find out. Like, we've been trying to figure out what this is for a really long time. And finally, the tunnel is going to get that update that we've been looking for for the first time in a year. So now you probably might be asking, how do I know that the fall update is gonna be right here? Now, basically, the dialogue uh, involves, like, one piece of dialogue, you know, between these three people. W one of the contractors of the landscaper, one of them says, oh, screw dog, man. He's always digging himself into these situations. They use that specific terminology. Now, if you go to the newsletter that Wizard101 just put out, the October 2019 Ravenwood Bulletin, I'll literally link it in the description so you can see it. If you might notice, the first sentence, or the first two sentences of the entire letter, it says, don't risk digging yourself into a hole trying to guess what the game's fall update is going to be. So basically, what I think is very, very safe to assume is that this is the tunnel. Now, I mean, again, they have hinted at the fact that there's a big dungeon coming, and most people put two and two together saying, what else could it possibly be? But this is like a really, really big news, you know, like we're getting a confirmation in a written format, you know, where you know it's official that this really is going to be the next big update d during the fall. It's going to be a really, really big update. But we don't have just that information. No, baby, we have more information. In the same bulletin, they actually put out an animation. Also linked in the description because... I am one prepared boy out here. But as you guys might notice from that animation, one, if you can tell by the music, it seems to be very Wizard City-esque. Which, I mean, it would fit something that's underground Wizard City for sure. Rather than, I don't know, portal into a different world or a different thing. So, it again, lines up that this is a very Wizard City-centric dungeon. So now we know that not only are we going underground, there's a dog missing, it's gonna be down this hole. Now there are insects that seem to also have construction hats on their head. I don't know if y'all picked up on what I saw, but it seemed to have a construction hat. So it almost seems like if there's a dog with a construction hat that goes down and then these insects with a construction hat interact with them and he goes missing, it might almost seem like they're working on constructing something underground and they just mistake him for someone who's on the project and essentially just, you know, almost kidnap him basically, you know? So it seems like to me anyways, that this is gonna involve like a whole different like you know group of people in wizard city building underground and we have basically just messed with that and that's going to create some kind of turmoil i think that's probably going to be the plot i sure it could be a little different i just don't see why they're like worker hats or you know why, why do they have worker hats maybe they're rebelling i don't know maybe they're part of renee's staff i don't really know but i think just from that animation that's my theory on what it is but 
we have a lot, lot more, and it gets very, very interesting. Now, I don't know if you guys recall, but I was talking about how there's some Twitter accounts that basically can go through the game files whenever Test Realm drops and look at what's going to happen. Now, again, I'm going to link the Twitter that I got this from, but basically, when looking at the name, right, of what's coming up, three names seem to pop up in the game files. The Drains, the Catacombs, and the Crypt. Now, these are all, obviously, again, it makes sense, underground. Now, the Drain really seems to be interesting to me. Because the drain was the same, like, you know, like, Wizard City has a big drain, basically. And it can be used to suction all the magic into it. That's basically the whole plot of Waterworks. So it seems very strange to me that suddenly now the drain is important again. It makes me really, really think that somewhere, maybe Silster Glowstorm or the Waterworks people, some, somehow they're coming back. But this time, they have a whole new group of people behind them. It's not just the Waterworks people, but maybe it's these workers, you know, it's these worker bees, it's these worker insects. It wouldn't make sense for them to leak Silster Glowstorm and any kind of sneak preview of it. So I think this is still a very valid possibility, just on based on the name uh, Drain, you know what I'm saying? Like, it also seems geographically, I don't know if you noticed, but it's very close to Triton Avenue in terms of, like, elevation. And if you're going underground from Triton Avenue as your starting point, you're basically gonna go down to where we went to Waterworks. So it would make sense if it was a continuation. I definitely think that's a very real possibility. Now, the other two words that are really like, you know, those are really uh, making me interested is the crypt and the catacombs. And now, here's where the theories really begin. Now, if we're in an underground area, right, where there's crypts and catacombs, what I think that generally will mean is that these are where the buried are from Wizard City. So what does that mean? That means we got old professors, you know, people in the past in Ravenwood. And we also definitely do not know what kind of people roamed Wizard City before Merle found it and created Ravenwood. We have no idea what that was like. I have a feeling that, be, like, you know, a proximity to Bartleby, because Wizard City literally is, like, again, it's in the center of the spiral, right? What that could open up the door for is some really ancient spirits. So what I'm thinking is if it's in the catacombs or the crypt, there could be, like, you know very ancient beings that are like, you know, deceased and we basically maybe disrupted them by digging into them, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? So like, I don't know how the workers and the, the, the bees are, I'm not, they're not bees, the insects, and I don't know how they would tie into it, but what I think it could be, for one level range, it, the catacombs could be about like, you know, these ancient beings, and for another level range, it could be about, you know, disrupting these workers, you know what I'm saying? It definitely seems like there's so much going on in terms of all the stuff that we've seen that I would, I, it would make sense if, you know, this is like, you know, very Darkmoor-esque where they add multiple different areas for multiple different level ranges with different plots. When Darkmoor first came out, Darkmoor wasn't the only thing that came out with it, you know? It was Zigzag came out, uh, Kembalog Village came out, and also, uh, Barkingham Palace came out. I'm not sure if which one's which level range, but basically, there was four different areas that were unlocked. Considering that it's between arcs, just like Darkmoor was, considering it's a fall update, just like Darkmoor was, as far as my theory on this goes, I feel like it's gonna involve maybe going in, anybody can go in here, but then it'll branch off into, like, different plot lines, maybe one that involves the workers, one that involves Silster, and maybe one that involves, you know, the ancient beings. I just think the drain makes me think of Waterworks, the workers makes me think of, like, a completely, you know, different plot altogether, and the fact that it's a catacomb makes me think about people who, I don't know, died in Wizard City or died near Bartleby before Wizard City was even a thing. The final game file that seems to be very, very strange to me is the fact that Renee Wolfton right there has a red background behind her in a dialogue box. What does that mean? Now, if you guys don't know what a red dialogue box means, you know, I'm putting it up right now. Bow! If you guys notice that, that's associated with, you know, you fight them or that they're a villain. It could be very, very possible that maybe Renee Wolfton is trying, I don't know, maybe to like create you know, some kind of, like, overhaul of Wizard City, and maybe she's running all these workers, these insects, and all, all, all those underground, and Doug just happened to find it by mistake. And now, you know, when we finally capture Doug, maybe she'll be like, you know, you, we, you can't come out of here, this is my secret, and we will overthrow all of Wizard City. That's another plot line that it could be. So, I think what you guys might be getting out of this, and it's very exciting, is that there are so many ways this could go. 
I could be right on none of these, and I could be right on several of these, and the fact that there's so many directions in terms of plot, it really does open the door, in my opinion, for this one tunnel to lead into multiple different dungeons with multiple different plots for multiple different wizards. It would be my dream come true, not only if the gear that was dropped balanced out schools, but it also involved every level, because I feel like it's really important, especially when you put out a new dungeon for like level 20s to get something, level 30s to get something, you could literally create a new era of Magus PP just by putting out level 30 gear, you know, just like Mount Olympus did, you know, so it's very exciting. I hope they use this opportunity uh, very well. I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, the second it drops, I'm going to be live streaming it. I'm going to be making videos on it. So make sure you drop a sub, turn on your notifications, join the Discord so you never miss a video, a Twitch stream, a YouTube stream, none of that. But yeah, guys, that's just my theory on what this dungeon could be based on what we know, based on the leaks given by King Zal, based on the leaks other people gave, and based on the game dialogue. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out the other links, you know, that I put in the description if you want to get more involved in the community, including my Instagram, my Discord, my Twitch, and my Twitter, and of course my Patreon. Thank you for all the love to all my patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are making my dreams come true. It would mean the world to me. If anybody who could, could support me through the Patreon, I love y'all, man. As always, drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a sub if you're new, and if somebody has not told you you're awesome today, they doing something wrong, so stay awesome, brother. And yeah, yeah.